Good morning students. Today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 8, Features of File Management. Please take out your computer book and open page number 105. Page number 105. Children, in your previous classes, you have been taught about the concept of files and folders and certain operations related to them. In this chapter, we will revise those concepts and operations that you have already read and will also discuss some other operations related to the file management. Here you can see something is there to check your memory and to recall the lessons we have learned in our previous classes. Remember those and fill this by yourself. This one is homework for you on page number 105. The next things we are going to learn is copying a folder, moving a folder, renaming a folder and deleting a folder. We will start with copying a folder. I am creating two folders. Right click on the empty space on the desktop. New folder. Naming it folder 1. Pressing enter. My folder has created. I am dragging and dropping it here. Now I am going to create the second folder on the same way and naming it folder 2. Copying a folder. Copying operations create duplicate copy of the folder. The same folder lies at the two different places. When a folder is copied, all the files or subfolders that are present in it are also copied. I'm opening folder 1 first and creating some files here. Microsoft Word document. and taking a text document file. Two files are there in folder number one. Closing it. Now I will copy this folder and pasting will going to pasting in folder two. How? Right click on folder one. Clicking on copy. Now opening folder 2 right click on the empty space and pressing paste folder 1 is here closing it you can see folder 1 is here and the copy of folder 1 is inside this folder 2 next thing is moving a folder now I'm going to move folder 2 into folder 1. How? Right click on folder 2, pressing cut option, opening folder 1 and pasting folder 2 here. In moving operation, the selected folder is removed from the original location and place it in a new location. You can see folder 2 is not here. I have moved the folder 2 into folder 1 and it is here only. Third thing is renaming a folder. How to rename the folder? 
right click on the folder the second last option is rename click on it and you can rename the folder I'm renaming it by class 4. The other way to rename a folder is select the folder and press F2 from your keyboard. You can rename the folder like this way also. The third way is click on the folder once and you can rename the folder in this way too. The next thing is deleting folder. How to delete a folder? Select the folder, right click on it and press delete from here. On deleting, a folder does not get completely removed from the computer system. Rather, it gets removed to the recycle bin. Recycle bin is an area which holds the deleted items and if required, these items can be restored to their original place. Let's see how to do. Pressing on delete. It will give you a message. Are you sure you want to move this folder to the recycle bin? If you press yes, the folder goes to recycle bin and if you press no, the folder is still in the original place. I'm pressing yes the folder has got and it goes to the recycle bin now I'm going to open the recycle bin and here you can see the folder naming class 4 if you want to restore the folder right click on the folder and click on restore option the folder is not here in the cycle bin it has restored on the original place you can see I'm deleting it again To delete the items from the recycle bin, what to do? You may delete the item individually, like click any of the item, right click and delete. Showing the message, are you sure you want to? You want to permanently delete this folder? Yes. And if you want to delete all the items from the recycle bin you can press empty the recycle bin empty the recycle bin pressing this it is showing are you sure you want to permanently delete this 93 items I have 93 items in my recycle bin but remember one thing when we click on this empty the recycle bin option it will remove all the files and folders present in it from the system I'm pressing yes and the bin is empty now the next thing on page number 109 is Computer ethics. Computer ethics can be defined as the moral principles that a user should observe while working on a computer. We should use computer in such a way that demonstrate consideration and respect for your fellow workers. That respect for our fellow workers then means those who are working with us. We should not interfere with others computer work unless asked for. If anybody asks you for help, you can help only. Don't interfere what other is doing in their computer. We should not meddle in others computer files. We should not copy or use others work without seeking any 
prior permission from them. We have completed the chapter. Next day we will discuss the question answers. Please read the book thoroughly and if you find any difficulty while reading, feel free to contact me through WhatsApp text message or voice message in my WhatsApp number. Take care. Thank you.